I have a plastic switch mechanism that needs a little repair, so I'm going to try the super glue baking soda method. I've seen other people use it as a filler or even to build up a structure that they can sand down and shape as they need to replace broken off pieces, so I thought I would try it out myself. Super glue is a type of cyanoacrylate or cyanoacrylate, depending what website you look at for how to say this, or CA glue, that's easier. And out of all of its properties and uses, it can be used as a filler or to build up a surface when added to baking soda. It'll form a hard, lightweight filler, sometimes used in assembling models or even guitar repair, like this application where the groove in the nut is worn down too much and you can build it back up with super glue and baking soda, then file it back to the desirable height. Before I try repairing this broken plastic switch, since I haven't tried this before, I thought I would take some super glue and regular baking soda and try it out on a scrap piece of wood. Just to be safe, this should be done in a well ventilated area. I'm going to alternately apply super glue and then baking soda and build up a structure and see how sound it is. So there's a dab of glue. Now some baking soda. Pretty much instantly that dried pretty hard. I can scratch the surface on it. I'll build it up a little more. Wipe off the excess. I don't have an ideal applicator, so I'm overdoing it. So I wipe off the excess and it's dried hard instantly again. We'll do a little more. And the super glue on its own tends to just run off, so it's making it more difficult to build this up tall. Clean it off again. So I can see how I could build this up if it was more in a contained environment and that goes fairly solid. I can try to dig into it and chip it away, but it's really on there good. So depending what we want to use this for, it could make a good filler as well as a bonding adhesive. So here's a knot hole that I'm going to try filling and see how that goes. Now the bottom of the hole is taped over. So from the top side, I'm gonna alternate layers of baking soda and CA glue and see if we can fill this. So I'll just keep alternating a little at a time. Okay, see if I can clean that up a little better. So that quickly dried very hard. I have this cheap implementation of an arcade style push button with a micro switch in here, but this piece comes out. It's supposed to have a clip on both sides. It normally goes through slots on the side and then snaps over here and forms a retainer that can push down, but only come back so far. But since I don't have that on the one side, it just pulls right out. So I'm gonna see if I can reattach this piece. Since this is going to be out of sight anyway, just in case it helps with the adhesion, I'm going to lightly rough up all edges of the plastic that I'm going to try bonding together. I think I have it in the position I want. I can't get it perfect, but if it can just hold together, it doesn't need to take any force. It just needs to clip into place and have a reasonable ability to stay there. Basically not just drop out if this is turned upside down. So I will layer on the CA glue and baking soda and see what we come up with.
And practically instantly, that's pretty well bonded. Of course, I could sand that bulge down if I want. So if I line this up correctly in these openings and assemble the switch again, now both of those hook on the bottom. I can press the switch. It works fine. The plunger is not coming back through because these clips are properly retaining it. But if I need to disassemble it as usual, I just push those in and then I can take it out. But normally, it used to fall out, now it's good. From what I can see, using it as a filler or for light duty repair work, this method seems to have promise. I don't know about its ability to perform structural repairs, but if I just need maybe some sort of a quick filler or a patch that will do a reasonable job holding things together and harden quickly, this should do the trick. If you've used this method before and you have good or bad experiences, leave a comment below and let us know how it went or what you would or wouldn't do differently. Thanks for watching.